Let us make Africa the tree of life. Let us make Africa the tree of life. My name is Gato Mukasa. I'm a Ugandan lawyer interested in issues, humanism, land rights, development, economics, and of course, issues to do with Ubuntu. We are Human TV Africa. Our interest is generally to give you what the mainstream media doesn't give you bring to you topics which others don't actually discuss and right now we are doing country profiles to show you what is inside africa in the studio is Hussein Bayer, based in kenya to do the production i want to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel which is humanist tv africa and also our Facebook is the same name. We are Humanist TV Africa. You can search us in Google and the name will come Humanist TV Africa. And I want to encourage you to please subscribe. Please subscribe. Get the numbers increase so we can make the numbers and we can reach many people. You can write to us at info. Our email is info at humanstvafrica.com. And our WhatsApp number is right there. Our communication officer will be able to talk with you. If you want to work with us, you are welcome. If you want us to open up a studio near country, you are welcome. At the moment, we are looking for volunteers and interns to work with us. Today, we are talking about Somalia. Very beautiful country. A stretch of a country. In a place, region, we have called the Horn of Africa. Somalia is beautiful, with about 18 million people, with a GDP of only 11 US billion dollars. Somalia is a struggling economy, despite the fact that Somalia has so much wealth. Somalia has minerals. People don't talk about what you normally hear about Somalia are the pirates and the conflicts and the war, and the battles, and the bombings, and the Muslim extremists. This is what you hear about Somalia. The people are fighting. 
clan that are killing each other, clan after clan, clan against clan, they are all having guns, tribal clashes. All we hear about Somalia are refugees, people running away from Somalia. All we hear about Somalia is famine, that they don't have food, people are dying. The Somalis, the brownies, as some people call them, are known for violence. But is that true? I don't think so. I think there is another Somalia that you don't know. Welcome to yet another episode that is going to open to you. Your visibility about Somalia. Somalia is a beautiful country, and it's not a country that is dying. It's a country with loving people, with handsome men, and very beautiful women. Yes, Somalis are very beautiful women. And and strictly cultural, and very spiritual, and very religious. Let us look at Somalia in pictorial, and then we shall continue to digest, and digest, and dissect what Somalia is. Uh, Bayer is going to be showing us these images, starting with the maps. Let us look at Somalia, and the information about Somalia. Now, Somalia. As you can see from your screen, it is a country in Africa, specifically from the Horn of Africa or Eastern Africa. In fact, Somalia is part of the countries that make up the East African community. Somalia joined a few months ago. As you can see, Somalia is right there. Somalia is right there, it was colonized by the Italians, and then, of course, by uh, occupied by the British. Now that is Somalia. Let us look at other uh, maps. That is the map of Somalia, quite beautiful map, the blue and the white star. Somalia is beautiful. Look at Somalia. Now it's a stretch, I call it a stretch. And of course, when you look at Somalia, uh, the cities there, Sanaga, Moga, Nodog, Nogal, Galdgug, some hard names there, Balukodom, and these are the names of Somalia, of course, and the cities Bay and others, Hilblan, Bakdo, Agebdo, and other areas. And you can see that Somalia is surrounded by water. That's why uh, people talk about pirates, pirates of Somalia. Yes, Somalia is surrounded by a bit of a water stretch. God has neighbors in terms of countries. Uh, but yeah, let us look at other maps very fast. Now, this is Somalia. Again, this is Somalia. Uh, you can see uh, Somalia is surrounded, uh, has neighbors apart from apart from uh, uh, the, the equator passing down there. And of course, uh, the Gulf uh, of Eden, as it is known, the Gulf of Eden. We have Ethiopia just as a neighbor. We have Eritrea. We have Djibouti. And we have Yemen up there, Yemen up there. And of course, you can see other areas of Somalia, uh, Karui, uh, Kadigo, Boko, Babera, Hagesha, Badassara, and all these other names like uh, Beredenia and Suta. Look, these are names of uh, uh, popular cities of Somalia. Now, here in this uh, another map of um, Africa, you can see Somaliland and of course, Ethiopia. And Somalia. Now, people sometimes confuse Somaliland and Somalia. Yes, Somaliland is there, but also Somalia. Somalia is composed of five states, five states that came together to make uh, one country, Somalia. That's why they're having clashes because tribal chiefs, uh, tribal uh, tribal chiefs, and uh, become tribal warlords. Each tribe thinks they should be able to be in charge of their own territory. That's what makes Somalia better. Now, Somalia is rich. Did you know that Somalia has so many uh, 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 minerals, such as copper, gypsum, iron ore, and manganese, salt, tin, uranium, uh, cotton? Uh, Somalia has sugarcane, it has bonani, it has, of course, food crops such as maize, sorghum, vegetables, and grazing. By the way, Somalia has serious gardens. I've been I've uh, been watching uh, documentaries on Somalia. They have very good gardens. They have very good agriculture down there in Somalia. 
So Somalia is not dying as actual people claim. And of course, when you look at this other map of Somalia, you will see the vegetation uh, areas, and of course, you will see the geographical locations of some of these uh, historical sites, and of course, the areas of um, green vegetation and possibly good agricultural efforts. So you cannot say that Somalia actually lacks uh, food. This is a natural resources map. You can see uh, where natural resources in, China, uh, in Somalia uh, are located. We talked about copper, we talked about cotton, we talked about uh, all these other minerals uh, right in Somalia. Let us go to the other map of um, the other, uh, yes, there. Somalia is a country at the Gulf of Aden and the Gulf of Aden in Eastern Africa. The land has a total area of 600, uh, 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 kilometers, uh, which is about uh, uh, 246 uh, uh, miles, miles, uh, square miles, and a total coastline of 3,025 kilometers, uh, which is about 1,879 uh, miles. Now, this land area is approximately 92% of the area of Texas. They want to compare Somalia with Texas. If you know Texas, that is Somalia. Now, Somalia is thus the 19th biggest country in Africa. It is bigger. As you can see, the stretch is big. Uh, it, it, is, it is the 19th biggest country in Africa. And in terms of area, it is ranked 43 worldwide. It's not a small piece. It's a big piece. It's a stretch, as you can see. Now, this is a brief history of Somalia. Somalia is located in the Horn of Africa, uh, which is part of Eastern Africa. Somalia is located in East Africa. Its neighbors are Ethiopia, Djibouti, or Kenya. Uh, Somalia people are believed to have their origins in the north of Somalia. Somalia was created in 1960 from a former British protectorate and an Italian egg colony. First an Italian colony, then I became a British protectorate. Somalia formally achieved its independence from the United Nations at Trust Strip under the Italian administration on July 1st, 1960. Somalia collapsed into anarchy following the overthrow of the military regime of President Said Bari in 1991. I remember Said Bari. So when he was overthrown, Somalia descended into trouble. If you have watched movies like Black Hawk, Dawn, it gives you a summary of what Somalia became. Somalia, uh, Somalis are not Arabs. I have to emphasize Somalis are not Arabs or Middle Eastern. They are not Jews, they're not Arabs. And in fact, they follow similar Islamic practices and customs to other majority Muslim uh, countries. However, they are not located in the Middle East and they are ethnically Somali, not Arab. In fact, if you call a Somalian Arab, they get annoyed. I've got clients as Somalis. When you call them, are you an Arab? They'll tell you that's an insult. They are not Arabs. They are not from the Middle East. They are Africans. Statistically, Somalia DNA is 60% East African and 40% West Eurasian. West Eurasian. 25% West Asian and 15% North African. You can see. Now, Somali, what makes them unique? When you look at a Somali, it doesn't look like me. Their hair is different. Their skin texture is, uh, texture is different. Why? Their DNA is my DNA. Plus, 40% of it is Western Eurasian. They have links with Europe. Now, 25% of their DNA is also Western Asian. They are partly Asian. They are partly European and they are largely East African. Those are Somalis. That's why they look like not most of us in Sub-Saharan Africa. They look like Asians, not Asians. They look like Europeans, not Europeans. They look like Africans, not Africans. They are just in between there. Why? Because their DNA is partly East African, partly West Eurasian, and partly North African. And North Africa is much of Arabic. Now, that is their ancestry, uh, and that is the Somali population. There are about 18 million people in Somalia, and Somalia has five member states. Now, Somaliland is the safest area of all, re all region of the current five mem member states that make together the Federal Republic of Somalia. It is only Somaliland 
Remember, they have states. All these states have been at war for a long time. Thank you so much, Usain Bayer. Let us continue with this um, discussion on this beautiful country, uh, Somalia. Somalia. Somalia is beautiful. Look at that. And look at their president there, swearing in just a few years ago. And that is Somalia. That is Somalia. Somalia, a country of um, uh, wonders. Somalia, a beautiful country that actually has a lot in common with uh, many countries in Africa. That is Somalia. That's their president. Their president is called Hassan Sheikh Mohamud. Uh, my producer is Hussein, but the president of Somalia is Hassan Sheikh Mohamud. He became uh, the president of Somalia in May 2022. Let us continue with our explanation of what is happening in Somalia. Now, Somalia has waters, remember? Somalia has waters. Remember the pirates? But that's another story. Somalia is beautiful. You can look at that beautiful picture. That is Somalia's coast. That is Somalia's sky. Beautiful place, beautiful environment, beautiful people right in Somalia. Let us continue oh, watching other images right from Somalia. Now, this is Somalia. I'm going to show you the downside of Somalia. The downside of Somalia, which sometimes the media will show you, is the war, it's the famine, it's the planes crashing. Planes clashing because they've been shot down in Somalia. Cars getting bombed and floods. Now I'm showing you, first of all, the negative side of Somalia. Because of the conflicts between tribes, ethnic groupings, the five state stories fighting, there is famine. Sometimes there have been floods, of course, due to nature. People always moving here and there. Refugees are quite many out of Somalia. And of course, hitting cars and uh, hitting planes to the ground because it has been a war zone for a long time. Ugandan soldiers have been in Somalia for over 15 years. UPDF, soldiers from Uganda, have been in Somalia to keep peace, as they call it, for over 15 years. Now, this is Somalia. Partly, it is the desert. But also partly it's agricultural land. You can see people are farming. They have camels, they have goats. In fact, Somalis are known for consuming so much meat. Yet, surprisingly, Somalis are naturally small bodied people. Yet, they eat lots of beef, lots of camel meat, and lots of goat meat. But they are farmers, as you can see in the images there. They do take care of their farms, but also they are cattle keepers. They are goat keepers, they are sheep keepers. Those are the Somalis you can see in that image. Let us continue. Very, very fast showcasing Somalia. Somalia has food. They are telling you like that Somalis have no food. That is food right there. Somalis have maize and plenty of it. And in fact, if Somalia had peace, Somalia would be feeding some countries in East Africa. Somalia has food. Look at that food right there. Oh, that is from Somalia. But sometimes because of the insurgencies, because of the conflicts, people cannot settle down to dig. That's why Somalia is always under famine. But Somalia has good land and Somalia has food. Let us continue with other images. Now, there have been a campaign to get water in the cities of Somalia. These ladies here have been having an NGO through which they campaign for water for all. The campaign has been water for all. But of course, because of the conflict, as you can see, the fires right there, people are fighting. Sometimes even NGOs find it very hard to operate in Somalia. Let us continue having other images of Somalia. Very, very fast, we have other images of Somalia. Now, these are Somalis in a campaign to get water for all. They have been having a campaign to take water in Mogadishu and, of course, other cities. This is an NGO. You see how women dress in Somalia? They are very much influenced by their Arabic culture. These women are beautiful, but they can cover from head to toe. <laughs> it's hard to look at a Somali's face. Yes, I've seen them in Uganda. I've seen them in Kenya. They cover themselves. They have a religion. They have a culture. Their culture is fused with Arabic religion. They cover themselves. And, of course, there are those tribes which like tattoos, as you can see. You can see the tax park there in Mogadishu. You can see the rural area of Somalia. 
the markets of Somalia, there is life burns the sky. If there was no war, as it has been in the last few years, Somalia will be developing. You can see people have food, people are doing, going to their farms, taxis are working, tax packs are working, markets are working, and people are having their life. That is Somalia. Not everyone actually looks the same as the other. They are different ethnicities, different tribes. They have different skin color. Others are black. Others are very brown. Those are Somalis. They are a bit mixed people from different states. I told you they have five states, which is uh, different ethnicities. Look at Somalia as Mogadishu, the capital state, and look at these beautiful ladies of Somalia, the way they are dressed in their national colors and the flag. Yes, that is Somalia. Those are the beauties of Somalia right there. Very beautiful women there. Uh, very, very influenced by their culture. Somalis love their culture. Somalis are largely Muslims. Somalis are largely Muslims. They follow the Arabic language. Uh, a man in Somalia is about to have four women. Uh, I don't know whether women like this, but many men in Somalia actually have four wives. Yes, have four wives, and they're very private. If you went to visit a Somali's home, you may not actually see the wife. You're more likely to see the children. The wife is normally in the kitchen there, they are hidden there. They don't even come to Vista uh, to check on visitors. They keep them very privately. They are very, very religious. And the men in Somalia are very assertive. They want to leadership. Men in Somalia are very assertive. They always want to be on the top of things. You know, that's why there are so many clashes between clans. Everyone wants to be assertive, wants to be a leader. You know, that kind of uh, uh, assertiveness among men, but also the subjugation of women. Yes, the subjugation of women in Somalia. Somalia is a beautiful country. They have resources. They have a good environment. They have a coastline. They have all these water bodies. They can trade with Yemen. They can trade with Europe. They can trade with China. They have it all, if at all, Somalia was to keep it peaceful. My advice as a person here from the Human City Africa is Somalis make peace, not war. Somalis make peace, not war. If necessary, make love between tribesmen, between ethnic clubs, between your groups, than making war. Wage peace. Make love, do, not make war. Because your country is great and your country can be peaceful and can go very far if you made more peace than waging war. Somalia is a good country, and yes, Somalia has a prospect for development. That is Somalia in a minute. See you in the next one. Remember, subscribe to Human TV Africa. Subscribe to Human TV Africa. The link is right there. Please subscribe. And of course, see you in the next episode. Thank you so much.